Hey guys, Rana here and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a free Android app for your WordPress website. Plus, I'm going to show you guys how you can publish that free app on Google Play Store. So if you do not have any kind of coding knowledge, don't worry, because in this video, we are going to use drag and drop editor to create an Android app. So guys, basically, we are going to convert our WordPress website into an Android app. Then we're going to publish that app on Google Play Store. Question is, if you are wondering why should we have convert our WordPress website into an Android app? Well, because majority of us have Android devices and our main focus is to gain more traffic and generate more revenue, right? So before we get started, one thing you should keep in mind that which is very important guys, if you do not have Google Play console account, you have to create an account which cost you $25. If you already have Google Play console account, then you can publish unlimited apps on Google Play Store right so without wasting more time let's get started and now let me show you guys how you can create free Android app using drag and drop editor so let's get started so let's create a free Android app first of all you have to come to this website codler.io once you open this website click on this drop down button alongside modules and then right click on this account button and open in a new tab so guys from here you can sign in or sign up using the social media accounts so i'm going to sign in with my social accounts let's click on google so as you can see i'm successfully signed in i'm going to close this tab come back to this website and now click on create apps now click on create project and type your project name and then click on next now scroll down you don't have to change anything over here click on finish Alright guys, this is kind of dashboard where you can create your Android app. If you look at the left side, these are the components that you can add inside your application. So in the right side, you can see all the components that added inside your application. By default, you can see only one component, which is screen one. And now let's look at this section. So these are the component settings or properties that you have selected over here. And now you can see we are inside the designer mode or viewer and let's click on blocks. So in the block area, you can add different types of functionality in your application. Let's go back to designer. So now let's focus on screen one. First of all, we have the about screen section. You can type anything over here. I'm going to leave it blank. Scroll down here. I'm going to change my application name, learn WordPress and motion graphics, right? And scroll down. Now here you can add application icon. I'm going to click on upload, click on upload asset. I already prepared my application icon. The size of this icon you can see over here. If you do not know how to create an application icon, you can check out my other video. You can find that video link in the description box of this video, how to create a free logo. Now select the icon, click on open. Now select that file. Let's close this. And from here, let's choose that file that we just uploaded. Scroll down and I'm going to uncheck the title visibility. So now you can see that we have the version code and version name. Let's say you are publishing your Android app on Google Play Store first time, then you should keep this as it is because this is the first version that you should publish on Google Play Store. And now let's start adding more components inside our application. First, let's add a web viewer. Come over here and search for web viewer. Drag and drop this component over here. Let's close this and select this component. Come over here and type your website URL. All right. Now I'm going to uncheck the zoom display and zoom enabled. And now let's add another component notifier. And now we added the notifier and a web viewer, right? Let's go to the blocks because we are done with designer. And now we are going to add blocks into our application so that our application work properly without any error. First of all, let's click on screen and let's drag and drop this component. And now click on control and add this component. If then. And click on this gear icon and then add else if next let's add a logic and drag and drop this component and let's go to web viewer scroll down and add this component over here and let's go to text and let's add this component over here and let's type your website url and now let's click on notifier scroll down and let's add this component Let's go to the text, scroll up and let's add this simple text block. And I'm going to type over here, can't go back anymore. And now let's go to the notifier and scroll down and add this component. And now let's go to the text, 
scroll up and add this text block over here and now let's copy this text block by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v few more and let's add these text block here in the message i'm gonna type do you want to exit and next i'm gonna type exit here i'm gonna type yes and button 2 i'm gonna leave it blank and now let's click on web viewer and drag and drop this block over here and let's go to web viewer once again scroll down and add this block here and we are done here and now let's click on notifier let's create another block let's add this block over here let's go to control add if then let's go to logic let's add this logic and now let's go to variables and drag and drop this block over here and select this drop down option select choose and let's copy this yes block select it Control c Control v and add it over here right we we'll just duplicate that and let's go to control and add a close application block over here so now we are done here let's go back to designer so guys from here you can export your application in order to export your application click on export button and you can export apk or you can export a application bundle so i'm going to export apk let's click on download apk all right guys our application is ready to publish on google play store but before that let me show you how this application looks like and how it's work all right guys as you can see this is our application icon looks like in phone let's open it up so as you can see this is my content people can access my website content uh, through this application let's open up this first post now you can see we open this web post and if we try to press back button and let's see you can see that we have successfully come back to one step and sometime what happen is if you do not configure your application properly and then you press back button you exit the app okay but in our case we successfully come back one step now press back button you can see that we have message over here do you want to exit cancel or yes and below that you can read a notice can't go back anymore let's press cancel for now and now press back button once again and try to exit the app so as you can see that our application work absolutely fine now let's move with our next step all right guys now it's time to publish our android app on google play store but before if you are new to this channel consider subscribing because i drop a new video every single week on this channel about wordpress motion graphics tips and tricks which does not require any skills and knowledge anyways let's move on to our next step let's go to google and perform a google search for play console and open up first website play.google.com all right guys this is my google play console account if you do not have google play console account you have to sign up for it to create in google play console account is pretty straightforward it's just like a creating an ordinary account you have to type your first name last name and your billing information that's the pretty much it and you have your google play console account once you have it once you pay 25 dollar you have your google play console account once you have it now let's click on create app right over here in here type your app name in my case i'm gonna type so guys this is just for demonstration purposes i already have this app published on google play store and next choose your language english fine and this is app if you're publishing game you can go with game this is free or paid this is free application scroll down and check these options and click on create app so after that we are inside the dashboard now scroll down now click on view task under the setup your app now you can see that we have to go through these tasks one by one in order to publish our application on google play store first of all click on the app access now i'm going to select the first option all function is available without special access if your application require any access like microphone or camera something like that then you have to tell them by choosing the second option but in my case this application does not require any access i'm going to click on save let's go back now you can see that we complete this task now we have 
6 left total is 7 let's click on ads does your application contain ad yes I'm gonna click on save if your application does not have ad in it you can go for no but in my case this application does have ads let's go back to the dashboard now we are done with the second step let's go with content rating start questionary here you have to type your email address and now select your category this app based on educational purposes in your case you can select different types of category according to your content once you're happy click on next can the app contain violence material no sexuality no can the app contain any potential offensive language no basically you have to select no every single no over here once you're happy click on save and then click on next alright guys now click on submit alright guys now we are done with content rating let's go back now go back to the dashboard once again as you can see that we are done with content rating let's click on target audience I'm going to choose my audience over here and then click on next appeal to the children could your store listing unintentionally appeal to the children so guys here you have to select one of this option according to your application content but I recommend you to read the policy first then choose these options wisely but in my case my application content does not appeal to the children I'm going to select no because if Google disagree with your answer you won't be able to update your app and I'm gonna click on next and then click on save let's go back back once again so I'm going to unselect this option I'm not gonna target a 13 to 15 age group so I'm going to click on next okay let's go next click on save all right let's go back to the dashboard and let's see what we got okay we are done with target audience let's click on news app is this news app no this is not a news app okay click on save let's go back to the dashboard I'm good here let's go to this option select an app category and provide contact details app or game this is app select the category education next manage tag I'm gonna leave it as it is email address I'm gonna type my email over here phone number you can leave it blank your website URL I'm gonna type here and then click on save you can type your phone number if you want to let me give my phone number over here really quick all right now let's go back to the dashboard all right guys now we are completed this step as well finally we have this step set up your store listing let's click on that short description full description all right scroll down so here you have to upload your application icon just select the app icon and open it scroll down feature graphics you can see the feature graphics image size let's upload that as well I already prepared that you can see the size of this feature graphics let's open it let's add that as well all right scroll down here you have to add the phone screenshot let's add them as well already prepared them select all and upload them all right scroll down 7 inch tablet screenshot let's upload same screenshot all right 10 inchy tablet screenshot I'm going to upload same screenshot here if you have YouTube video prepared about this application you can add your YouTube video link over here if you do not have a YouTube video link don't worry leave it blank finally click on save and now let's go back to the dashboard once again alright guys now we have completed our first seven tasks successfully now let's look at what is the next task that we have to complete let's go to the production let's click on create new release so now click on continue all right so guys here you can upload your application you can upload dot abb file or you can upload apk file okay so I'm going to upload my application click on upload so this is my application dot apk file alright guys as you can see that I've successfully uploaded my application without any issue scroll down here you can type your release note this is your release name leave it as it is now click on save and now click on review and release so you can see that there are a few warnings we found some problem with your release no country or region have been selected let's look at another you can ignore these two warnings but we have to select the country or region let's go back to the production 
and let's go to the country and region let's add country i'm going to select all countries let's add country and regions and that's it all right now go to releases click on edit now click on review and release now you can see that uh, we have this message we found some problem with your release now just ignore these two warnings and click on start rolling to production and then click on rollout now you can see being reviewed which means google play store will review your application once they agree or accept your application they will publish on google play store all right guys that's the end of this video guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you learned something from today's video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys for more videos just like this one and don't forget to check out these two videos in the left side so that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys next time